hello viewers welcome back to the course on scientific computing in matlab so today we'll continue with the previous lecture on the cubic spline so in the previous lecture we have found that how we have discussed that how we can find the cubic spline for a given interval and then we have started with the expression that how we can express the cubic spline in each of the sub interval and then in the end we'll, we came with the equation number 6 so that is the given polynomial that is the cubic polynomial we are defining and now we have to find out what is the value of this m case the second derivative in the for the given uh, cubic value cubic spline so now we have to find these values so let's uh, continue with this one now so from the 6 differentiate equation 6 with respect to x so i'll get s k dash x is equal to m k by 6 h k into 3 times to minus 1 plus m k plus 1 by 6 h k into 3 x minus x square square so this is all constant terms so i will get only here minus y k over h k minus m k by 6 because this is the coefficient of x so i will get minus 1 so that will be there plus so that is the expression for this so from here i will get that my s dash k can be written as so it will cancel out 3 will cancel out 2 so it will be minus m k by 2 h k x k plus 1 minus x whole square similarly plus m k plus 1 by 2 h k and then I will get this expression. <coughs> so, from here I can write this as a y k plus 1 minus y k by h k I can take this term common and then this minus and this plus so from here I can write minus m k plus 1 minus m k by 6. <clears throat> so this is my s k dash. So I call it equation number 7. So this is a function of x. Now I will find out the value at x k. So what about at x is equal to x k. So s k dash at x k. So if I put x k here, so this will be x k plus 1 minus x k. So that will be h k. So I can write from here directly. So this will equal to m k by 2 h k because h k will be square and this will cancel out. So this will be this value. Now from here, this is the 0 value. So I will get from here. So I will get. y k plus 1 minus y k by h k and from here minus m k plus 1 by 6 plus m k by 6. So from here I can just take this value common this will be also h k this will be h k now from here i will get this into h k multiple of h k and now i can so this will be into h k and this is also 
H k. H k. Now from here, this will be equal to H k and that will be H k. So, I can write this quantity together. So, I can write this as a m k h k by 6 minus m k h k by 2 plus y k plus 1 minus y k by h k minus m k plus 1 h k by 6. So, this quantity So, now I will get from this So, this can be written as minus m k h k by 3 when I am taking the LCM <coughs> plus y k plus 1 minus y k by h k minus m k plus 1 h k by 6. So, I will get s k dash x k. So, this expression 7 is the kind of 8. So, the only thing is that we made the mistake here. So, I will multiply by h k also because this h k, this h k will cancel out, I will get the h k and h k. So, I am writing h k here, h k here and continue with this h k and in the end we will get this expression. Now, we can rewrite equation, equation 7 for k minus 1. As this is written for kth sub interval, we can write this as the for the k minus 1 interval. So, I can write this as a s dash k minus 1 x this is equal to minus m k minus 1 by 2 h k minus 1 x k minus x whole square plus m k by 2 h k minus 1 x minus x k minus 1 whole square plus y k minus y k minus 1 by h k minus 1 minus m k minus m k minus 1 by 6 into h k minus 1. So, this is I have written for the sub interval from k minus 1 to k. So, suppose this is equal to 9. Now, s dash k minus 1 at x k. So, let us see what will happen in this case. So, if I put x k, this will be 0. So, this will be h k minus 1. So, from here I can write this expression directly. So, I will get my m k by 2 <coughs> to h k minus 1 square. So, this will cancel out. So, I will get h k minus 1 plus this is y k minus y k minus 1 divided by h k minus 1 minus. So, from here I will get m k h k minus 1 by 6 plus m k minus 1 h k minus 1 by 6. So, this expression can be written as m k h k minus 1 and this and this term I can take together. So, this is half minus 6. So, this can be written as m k h k minus 1 by 3 yeah, plus m k minus 1 h k minus 1 by 6 plus y k minus y k minus 1 by h k minus 1. So, that is s dash k minus 1 x k. Now, I know that we that the derivative should be same. 
either moving from left or right. So, from here I will write it equation number 10. Now, since s dash k minus 1 at x square is equal to s dash k at x k. So, that is the condition that the function should be smooth enough. So, that gives me that m k h k minus 1 by 3 plus m k minus 1 h k minus 1 by 6 plus y k minus y k minus 1 over h k minus 1 that should be same as so it should be equal to minus m k h k by 3 I am writing from here plus y k plus 1 minus y k by h k minus m k plus 1 h k by 6. So, I will get this expression. So, we just write this expression as d k minus 1 and this is d k. So, from here I can write now we get. So, after doing the manipulation what we will get is this one h k minus 1 m k minus 1 because from here I will get the LCM that is 6 on the both side and I will get this value. So, this is m k minus 1 into h k minus 1 plus 2 times h k minus 1 plus h k into m k. So, this is a this and this value I am taking on the left side. So, this will be h k plus h k minus 1 by 2 times m k and plus this value will take on the right hand side. So, this will be equal to m k plus 1 h k that is equal to 6 times d k minus d k minus 1. So, this is I can write and this is true for all k from 1 to up to n minus 1. So, in the end I will get this expression where my m k is second derivative at x k. So, that we have defined. So, this is my m k. So, m k is the second derivative of a dash at x k. So, this is already defined. So, that is my expression and I call it 10 11. Now, from here we will see that equation 11 gives us a system of linear equations. How? So, let us start with k is equal to 1. So, if I take k is equal to 1, it will be h 0 m 0 plus 2 times h 0 plus h 1 m 1 plus h 1 m 2 and that will be equal to 6 times d 1 minus d 0. So, this quantity is known to me on the right hand side this quantity is known. Now, if I take k is equal to 2 I will get So, from here I will get h 1 m 1 plus 2 times h 1 plus h 2 and that is m 2 plus h 2 m 3 6 times d 2 minus d 1 and so on. 
So, in the end you will get n minus 1. So, I will get h n minus 2 m n minus 2 plus 2 times h n minus 2 plus h n minus 1 m at n minus 1 plus m at plus <coughs> h n minus 2 m at n that should be equal to 6 times d n minus 1 minus d n minus 2. <clears throat> if I write this expression in the matrix form, so we will get I need to find m 0 m 1. So, I will get h 0 then 2 times h 0 plus h 1 then h 1 and all other terms are 0 0. Suppose here I write m 0, m 1, m 2 and in the end I will get up to m n and from here I will get 6 times. So, I can take 6 common <coughs> d 1 minus d 0, d 2 minus d 1 and in the end I will get d n minus 1 minus d n minus 2. So, that is the first equation. The second equation is start from here. So, this will be h 1 2 times h 1 plus h 2 and then h 2. So, from here if you see h 2, h 2 and the, this is the 2 times of this one, h 1, h 2, this is the 2 times of this one. So, in this way I can write that in the end I will get h n minus 2, 2 times of h n minus 2. So, this is h n minus 2 will come here. So, this should be 1. So, this will be n minus 1. So, now from here if you see we will get this expression. So, we will get so I suppose I call it this matrix A into m is equal to B. Now, this expression if you see now the So, we have n minus 1 equations in n plus 1 unknowns because I need to find this m 0, m 1 up to m n. So, this n plus 1 unknowns are there and the total number of equations depends upon that how many condition we are. So, that is n minus 1. So, we have n minus 1 equation in n plus 1 norms. So, this is a rectangle. So, from here I can say that A is not a square matrix. So, how I will to find this equation? So, that depends upon that the extra 2 conditions we have to add. So, from here I will now to solve I call it. Now, on the matrix A is a tridiagonal matrix. So, this is a tridiagonal matrix basically. Now, we have to add two extra condition to solve the system, system 12 
12. So, we have to add two extra condition. So, this is the way we can define. So, this is called some extra condition. So, the case 1, <coughs> we call it clamped cubic spline. So, clamped cubic spline means we define that our S dash at x naught the left boundary condition at the left boundary and S dash at x n are given. So, these values are given to us that is called the clamped cubic spline because the derivative is given the value of the derivative at the, the extreme left and the extreme right that is given to me. The second one is that natural spline, natural cubic spline. So, in the natural cubic spline, we have the condition that S double dash at x naught is equal to. So, this is given that the curvature, the value of the curvature at the extreme left and the extreme right it is 0. So, that is called the natural cubic spline. So, in this case depending on that what condition we want to find we can solve this system. So, let us take this one. So, we consider the case of natural cubic spline which implies that S double dash x naught that is my m naught that is 0 and S dash at x n that is my m n. So, that is 0. Now, if I substitute these two value. So, from above system we get. Now, if you see from here this value is 0 and this value is 0. So, there is no need to write these values. So, if I multiply this y, so this m 0 is multiplied by h 0. So, I can remove this also. This m n is multiplied by this h n minus 1. So, I can remove this value. So, from here our system reduced to reduced system is given as. So, now we have reduced the system. So, if you see from here I will get so the first one will start from 2 h 0 h 0 plus h 1 h 1 0 <coughs> so I can write it as a starting from m 1 m 2 up to m n minus 1 the next one is the same. So, it will be h 1 and h 2. So, this one will be h 1 2 times h 1 plus h 2 h 2 and so on. So, in the end we will get, so this part will be 0. So, this is 0, this is 0. So, I will left with this part only. So, I will get h n minus 2. and 2 times h n minus 2 plus h n minus 1. Because this is also I will multiply by this factor. So, this part will be 0. So, I can remove this one and I will left with this one. So, now from here we can say that this is equal to the corresponding condition 
d1 minus d0 d2 minus d1 and in the end I will get dn minus 1 minus d n minus 2. So, it is 12, it is 13. Now, we have reduced system. So, this is my a n minus 1 cross n minus 1 now. Multiply with the, the vector m that is n minus 1 cross 1 and it is equal to I call it b that is n minus 1 cross 1. So, this is now a system of linear equations and also also the matrix A is diagonal dominant. Why it is diagonal dominant? If you see from here that this is a sum of the previous one and the next one. So, it is definitely great, this value is greater than h1. This is greater than h1 and h2. So, I am taking the sum and two times of this one. The same thing we are doing here that two times for this one. So, this matrix is a diagonal dominant matrix and it has unique solution. So, I can solve this system. This is known to me. I take I can apply my Gauss Seidel, Gauss Jacobi, the iterative methods to find out this one because this matrix is a diagonal dominant matrix. So, I know that for the iterative methods, the diagonal dominancy was the sufficient condition. So, if I have applied the Gauss Seidel or Gauss, met, uh, Gauss Jacobi methods to find out the solution, then definitely we are going to get the solution and the solution will be unique. So, based on this one, we are able to find the cubic spline. So, that is the uh, solution for the cubic spline. Once I get the value of this uh, m0, m1, m2, all this value, I will substitute in the given equation. So, here. So, once I get the value of all m i's, I will put the values here and then from here I will get the cubic spline. So, I can write that Once we know the values of all m k's, k from 0, 1, 2 up to n from equation 6, we can find the corresponding cubic spline. So, from the expression 6, I just substitute the values and I will get the h k is known to us only thing that we need to find was m k. So, that is known to us now. So, I will substitute the value and get this cubic spline into place. So, this is the core we will get the corresponding cubic spline function. So, this is all about uh, that how we can express the cubic spline. So, we will stop today. So, today we have started with the expression of uh, how to write the expression for the cubic spline and then we have discussed that we get the matrix and then how we can introduce the two extra condition to solve that matrix to find out the cubic spline for the given data. So, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this lecture. So, thanks for watching this. Uh, uh, thanks very much.